Good day everyone. In this video, you will be guided by what you need to do to accomplish the seven goals of the child-friendly school. Goal 1, encourage children's participation in school and community. What your school should have or should be doing, 1, your school has a working student government, 2, your school involves students in meetings and planning sessions that concern their well-being, 3, your school involves students in the organizing, planning, and execution of the disaster preparedness and response plan, 4, your school encourages its students to get involved in community work, 5, your school has a mechanism or mechanisms, such as a school publication, student's bulletin, board, or opinion box, for pupils to express their opinions about school and community issues. Goal 2. Enhance children's health and well-being. What your school should have or should be doing, your school maintains and regularly updates the health record of each pupil, your school holds annual weighing and health examinations of your pupils, your school holds an annual dental examination of your pupils, your school treats or refers pupils with health problems, your school treats pupils with decayed teeth, your school has a feeding program for malnourished children, your school serves or sells healthy and nutritious food in your premises. Your school practices proper waste disposal, your school has a steady supply of clean and safe drinking water, your school has separate toilet facilities for boys and girls consisting of urinals and lavatories that are regularly maintained and kept clean, your school has a functional clinic. Goal 3, Guarantee Safe and Protective Spaces for Children. What your school should have or should be doing, your classrooms have proper ventilation, lighting, and enough space for 45 to 50 pupils, your classroom desks and other furniture are sized to the age of the pupils. In the case of shared desks, each pupil has enough space to do seat work, your classroom's layout and furniture allow pupils to interact and do group work, your classrooms have a bulletin board or a corner that displays helpful learning materials such as posters illustrations, newspaper and magazine clippings, and your pupils' own works, your classrooms, facilities, and premises are regularly maintained and kept clean, your school has safe facilities in place to address hazard threats, e.g. fire exits, fire extinguishers, appropriate electrical wirings, dot, your school has identified and prepared alternative learning spaces in cases of emergencies. Your school has adequate emergency slash first aid kits that are readily available. Your school conducts regular evacuation drills for earthquake, fire, flooding, or tsunami, your school has a library for reading and for study, your school has facilities and equipment for recreation and sports, your school has sufficient lawn space and vegetation, your school has duly assigned personnel in charge of securing its premises, its properties, and those of its pupils and teachers. Your school coordinates with the barangay and local authorities to ensure the safety and protection of your pupils. Your school has a policy against discrimination with regard to gender, cultural origin, social status, religious belief, and others, your school has a program for children with special needs, and, your teachers use non-threatening styles of discipline. Goal 4. Encourage Enrollment and Competition. What your school should have or should be doing, your school has a master list of all school-age children in the community, whether enrolled or not, your school regularly coordinates with the local barangay council to identify school-age children who are out of school, for the purpose of bringing them to school, your school conducts campaigns to encourage parents to enroll their children. Your school has a system to regularly check on the attendance of its pupils and address problems concerning non-attendance. Goal 5. Ensure children's high academic achievement and success. What your school should have or should be doing, your school has a clear vision slash mission statement that is prominently displayed and adequately explained to all school personnel, the principal and teachers are familiar with child-centered and child-friendly principles, your school provides each student with a complete set of textbooks, teachers regularly prepare their lesson plans. Your school encourages and promotes cooperative and hands-on learning, the principal has data on the school's past three years performance in the division, Regional or national tests for the purpose of improving its current year's performance, teachers regularly monitor and assess their pupils' academic performance, with the view of improving their performance, the school provides students access to ADM, ALS, and or other learning materials for their use during emergencies. Goal number 6, raise teachers' morale and motivation, what your school should have or should be doing, teachers undergo continuing and advanced professional training at least once a year, teachers are regularly trained in new and effective teaching learning strategies, teachers have their own lounge and or work area, teachers are given annual medical checkups. The principal provides strong direction and leadership guided by a written supervisory plan, the principal regularly 
monitors teachers' performance and provides needed support. Teachers support their co-teachers by sharing teaching techniques and experiences. Your school provides an annual medical examination to your teachers and other staff. Goal 7. Mobilize community support for education. What your school should have or should be doing, your school has a parent-teacher association that has elected leaders, meets regularly, and has a written plan of action, your school coordinates with barangay institutions to identify children who are physically or sexually abused or are made to do hard physical labor, for the purpose of identifying their special needs. Your school coordinates with the barangay and local institutions to enroll. Illiterate parents in literacy programs. Your school takes the lead in conducting literacy programs for illiterate parents, your school enlists the support of community organizations to help raise funds and resources for learning, your school invites parents to discuss with your teachers the learning experiences and progress of their children, your school consults parents in the drafting of its policies, and in the planning and implementation of school activities. Your school has organized and capacitated the school. Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Committee your school has strong partnerships with external stakeholders in order to address disaster risk reduction and the CCA-related needs of the school, i.e. data and statistics, capacity building, resources, etc. 